Greetings, programs. Good morning, good afternoon. I hope you're all doing well. My goodness, we have a full house today. Cold Fire, Karzaval, Ezek, and Zombie. Welcome in and over on YouTube. I have Karza Keys and Cold Fire. Good morning, every single one of you. I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday today. I hope you're all excited for the termination of the AI. Because that's what we do here. We terminate the AI, especially on Wednesdays. Until I beat the game and then we move on to another target. But anyway, uh, I'm very excited to continue playing this wonderful game. It's, it's actually, for, for as old of a game as it is, it's a few years old, it's holding up quite nicely. And um, the develop, like I said, they, these are the same guys that developed RoboCop. So, and this was one of the first games and you can kind of tell where they got what they took over to RoboCop and it's very well done. Uh, but anyway, we have some news stories to talk about, folks. We have some news stories to talk about. I'm very eager. Well, I say eager. Some of these some of these news stories are uh, a couple of them are funny. One of which is uh, one that you're going to want to think about. Here's our headline from Eurogamer.com .net. Sorry, Eurogamer.net. Specify. 70% of developers concerned about sustainability of live service games. Paid DLC could be on the rise. Live service games could be a thing of the past. Uh, this is done by Ed Nightingale. Wonderful name, Ed. Uh, according to a new survey by the Game Developer Collective, 70% collective, of developers have concerns about the sustainability of live service games. For the survey... Uh, 600 developers were interviewed between February and March this year and defined live service games as online games featuring frequent updates and in-app purchases. Um, the survey further asked participants specifically what those concerns were with sustainability coming out on top. Players losing interest in live service games was the biggest concern, followed by competition with other live service games and rising user acquisition costs. Let's face it, folks. Uh, live service games, if, if Suicide Squad kills the Justice League was any indication. Now, again, I haven't played that game yet. I say yet. I'm not even sure if I'm, I will at this point, considering, well, it's just not. I don't want to give any money to Warner Brothers, but <laughs> um, that was a live service game that absolutely did not need to be live service. That was a that was a game that did not need to be live service. Just like Gotham Knights. Ah, Gotham Knights, I think, had promise, I think was just executed poorly. It definitely did not need to be $60. It definitely did not need... That was a $40 game at best. I think they they had the price tag way too high on that game, especially for what it was. But... Yeah, Gotham Knights definitely was interesting. And I, I like you, Zombie, I was definitely interested. But yeah, it was... Didn't quite stick the landing there. <laughs> we compare it to Helldivers 2. That's the epitome of gaming. Ah, uh, <laughs> and consider uh, we actually have a new story about Helldivers 2 coming up. Uh, but you're absolutely correct. Uh, for the point in the survey notes that paid DLC is on the rise with 30% of survey developers exploring this for their next game. An increase of 9% compared to their most recent releases. The majority of developers are also looking at digital releases over physical retail releases as you might expect. That I don't like. I don't like that because I... <sighs> physical media forever. But... Considering that Best Buy recently just did away with the majority of their Blu-ray and physical media uh, stands, and I believe a couple other... I, I, I'm not sure if there are any other retailers out there. Best Buy was the one that made it public that they're doing away with physical release. It is disheartening to hear that uh, developers are looking at digital releases over physical because I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. No, I don't. Um, earlier this month, Nuzu released its second annual PC and console gaming report, which stated games at least six years old accounted for over 60% of playtime in 2023. Uh, the top five of these older games accounted for 25% of all playtime. Fortnite, Roblox, League of Legends, Minecraft, and GTA 5. 
You, the boy, that's the demographic there probably be, well, hmm, I don't want to think that that's an interesting demographic to say the least. I'd be curious to see what the demographic is um, for those care, uh, for those subscription model. Um, that's interesting, zombie. That's an interesting perspective. Uh, it's clear that while live service games dominate playtime, developers are concerned about competing in the long term with such mega hits. Uh, sustainability and lack of growth are also key reasons behind the mass layoffs still affecting the game industries at large. Uh, which a uh, few other, uh, I saw some other news stories which I decided to gloss over because it's this is going to be a trend, folks. This is going to be a trend. I don't know what's going to happen here in the gaming industry, but... I like shiny things and nice boxes. Give me hard copies. Kaz, you speak from my heart and I appreciate it. <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> like Game Pass, Ubisoft Plus, and other submodels work well for me and my group. Hey, no, that's great if it works for you. I totally understand that. But yeah, the subscription models? Eh. I just, it doesn't, it doesn't vibe well with me, but no, absolutely. Shiny things, nice boxes. <laughs> give me, give me, give me, give me the hard boxes. Uh, limited run gaming. Yeah, that's, that's limited run games. That is exactly uh, my cup of tea right there. Uh, especially with some of their special edition games. Those are, those are, those are good. Those are very good. Uh, I won't regret buying the Scott Pilgrim video game special edition there. <laughs> <laughs> um all right so speaking of hell don't feel safe hey this is a safe place mm, this is a safe place get a warning okay Ooh, boy let's tone it down there zombie yeesh shaven i kind of felt creeped out by that um yeah, that, 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 that was definitely, uh, yeah, that, that was a step way too far there, zombie. Uh, yeah, even I got a little creeped out by that. So, yeah, no, no, no. Let's, uh, let's, uh, roll that back a bit. Uh, actually, not a bit. Let's roll it back. Uh, Helldivers 2. Devs, reject crossovers to avoid becoming Fortnite. Um... Which, yay, yay, good job, Arrowhead. Seriously, um, I'm uh, f all behind this. Uh, seriously, uh, I totally get. I love that they called out Fortnite. I totally, totally love that they called out Fortnite. Um, they're not interested at all in the idea, and. Um, you sure it, it collaborations and crossovers might be good for some people's i think with fortnite it works just because that game is practically a sandbox shooter as it is hell divers has a specific genre has a specific story crossovers just no would murky that water too much would murky that water too much uh, apparently it came up on the official discord server asked whether new melee weapons were still in the picture uh arrowhead game studios has for now assured fans it might still happen uh but they have the developers did say such weapons would strictly abide by helldiver's own theme so don't expect to see an energy sword don't expect to see the master sword don't expect to see anything outside of what helldiver's is offering i would say probably some blunt objects probably lord i don't even know what would qualify as a melee weapon in helldiver's that's curious something to think about something to think about but no <laughs> melee weapons could be plausible lightsabers from star wars would not we don't want to be fortnite that's twin beard that is the um arrowhead uh, that is the uh, community manager uh direct quote from him so i i do do enjoy that 
want to avoid this trend as it's already fun. Friendly fire is one of the best features of the game and Dorella thinks it's hilarious. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, friendly fire in hell. Oh, well, I, I guess it depends on if it happens to you or not. Uh, that's a matter of opinion. But yeah, friendly fire in hell divers makes for great content. Uh, <laughs> I've seen what friendly fire throwing um, some stratagems at people, uh, not at directly at them, but hoping that you're out of the cross, you're out of the fire, right? Oh, you weren't sorry, but it's funny. So absolutely. Uh, I want friendly fire to stay. Uh, moving on to our last news story. This one is just this is. Um, this honestly is just teeming with irony here, folks. This um, pocket pair CEO accuses Tennyson of developing a PAL world clone. So for those of you who remember back in, uh, when this game came out, uh, PAL world, which came out January of this year. Sorry, this, this, this that was just, um, it's hard to believe it's already been a few years, a few months since PAL world came out. It became such a huge hit. But of course, when PAL world came out, a lot of people were calling it a Pokemon clone with guns. Now they're calling out. Pal World is calling out Tennyson. Uh, <laughs> it's, it is. That is the most ironic thing I've seen. And it brought a smile to my face. Uh, the CEO uh, went to act. Twitter, sorry, I almost slipped there, went to Twitter to claim that Tennyson are developing a Power World clone. Post reads, Tennyson is already making a Power World clone game. In China, various companies are simultaneously developing mobile clones of Power World, and the budget scale is about 10 billion yen, 10 times that of Power World. It looks like there will be a ton of Genshin quality monster or girl breeding games released next year. Amazing times. Uh, uh, well, um, mm. a ton of Genshin quality monster. Uh, I he he had that in parentheses, girl or girl. He that was parentheses. I don't know what he knows, but um, hmm. All I'm gonna say is ew, ew. I don't want I don't want I don't want uh, girl girl breeding or I don't want I don't want human breeding games. That that doesn't sound that mm, no 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 no. That that no 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 no. I don't I don't I don't quite like that. It uh, that that sounds icky. Sounds icky. Um. So according uh, according to this, the game in question is by the name of Aurora, A U R O R I A. And according to its official Steam description, it's an open world, multiplayer, and cooperative sandbox game. Design the base, survive with your pals, and start your own interstellar, interstellar travel in a relaxed and fun way. Yeah, at first glance, yeah, yeah it's exactly. It doesn't help their case that they refer to the helper as pals, but still. I mean, you clone one thing and then you're like, whoa, why are we being cloned? Well, because the it's how the nature of cloning works. It's how we it's how it works. So, yeah, power world is getting clones and that the irony is not lost here. That that is beautiful. Um, so, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm dead curious. What if, uh, let me I'm going to look this up. How much is this game? Uh, Uh, well, I misspelled it, of course. I uh, let me see. Uh, history, history, history. I'm, I'm silly and I can't keep uh, names and letters straight. A U R. Bar. Um. Uh, oh. Oh. It's free, huh? It's going to be free. Interesting. Planned release date, quarter two of this year. Fascinating. Survive with your pals and start your own interstellar travel in a relaxed and fun way. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. 
Adventure, casual, massively multiplayer, RPG. Well, there it is. But it came up as free, so that is very interesting to say the least. Um, 100% microtransactions. Absolutely. I mean, any any one of these games um, nowadays, it's, if it's free, yes, I get the need for microtransactions. That's totally understandable. Uh, but still, it, it, it's kind of funny just just to see that somebody saw Power Worlds and was like, oh, that's successful. We should make a clone of that. Power World was already was already. I mean, it's casual. They're saying they, they emphasis casual a lot in the description, so I would hope that it's not competitive, but I guess we'll see. Right. So, folks, for where we left off with Terminator, um, we recently we met up with the resistance. We fought our way and we're now uh, taking out some missile installations. We took out a very giant robot. Oh, I shouldn't say giant. It was big. It was big. We're sneaking around T-800s. Um, sneaking. Uh, I've, some of these times I've actually been actively engaging with them. So uh, let's see how many more pictures we need to take and what more trouble we can get into. Game capture, please. Okay, and I'm already gonna switch off my glasses. Yes, hi, there you are. You. <laughs> oh, there we go. Seriously, I don't. <laughs> man, this has to be one of the most off putting title screens I've seen in so long. Just game. Game features autosave. Boom! Terminator in your face. See, I wouldn't be so. Well, maybe that's the point. They see Skynet needs Skynet. I, if you're already a thing, I, I'm gonna go ahead and put this out there. Make these guys a little more friendly looking. We probably wouldn't be fighting them so much. Make them like the robots in iRobot. Design them like that, and I wouldn't be as scared as them. As long as they, you get the voice of Alan Turdick, then we're good. Skynet started to build their offensive installations in Pasadena after the Annihilation Line arrived. If we want to hold it off, I need to take pictures of those structures. It's the only way for us to prepare ourselves for when the line comes. Oh yeah, I also got a nice sniper rifle too. Uh, oh god, I need to make sure I don't, <laughs> I don't push a wrong button. Uh, gameplay, controls, gamepad. Uh, weapon selection is left button. Okay, cool. I wanted to make sure I was not about to press. Right, I've got sniper rifle, plasma rifles. Should probably upgrade this bad boy. Um... My melee weapon. Uh, yeah, let me see. Upgrade. Okay, let's see. Oh. The fire rate. It's 425. Fire rate's already pretty good. Uh, clip size. Clip size? Mm, might want to do. Ooh, there's a damage. I do have a couple damage ones. Um, yeah, let's start with that. So I need a f uh, clip size, 19%. Perfect. Uh, triple, 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 triple. Fire rate. Oh, it needs. Oh, right. Um, it needs to be triple with two. Triple with two. Fire rate. Go.
Okay. So let's see. I had, I think I did all my side quests, didn't I? I did. Okay. So I literally just have to do, I have to take the two pictures. Okay. I decided to take an alternate route, and I might end up regretting that decision. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God. God damn it. I should have just stuck to the original path, because they're both right there. Hey, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Ooh, nope, you don't see me. Nope, 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 nope. You don't see me. You don't see me. I'm going to go back the other way because it's safer that way. After all, I did I did blow up the big the big guy. Resp I don't think they respawn. No, they don't respawn. That's one of the things I always found interesting about the future of um, the future uh, uh, post Judgment Day in Terminator. Everything seems to kind of go blue, like blue gray. Um, is it only this turret I have? Do I have both? got these two, but I don't have an upper one. Okay. Well then. Smile for the buddy. Well, wait a minute. Let's see. So there's a save point over there, which I don't actually think I got to. Okay. Take this nice and slow. See any bots? Huh? Why are they all way over there? And okay. Something tells me I'm gonna have to move on to something else here sooner or later. Oh, my game automatically saved. That's good. Runic! Welcome in, my friend. Welcome in. How are you doing? Okay, this seems safe, so I'm going to stand up. Okay. Uh, just got home doing all right. Good. I'm doing all right myself. A little nervous at what we will find. Trade resources, cool. All right, all seems good, all seems good. Oh, 
I guess I'm not going up that way. Where is this? Oh, okay, over here. Have I already looted these before? Oh, wait, no, I have been in here. Yeah, 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 I have been in here. Okay. Uh, uh, hold off on crafting anything right now. Okay, yeah, I, I did. I do remember looting this place. Okay. Okay. All good. Make my way out. Okay, so yeah, they're not close enough to see me. Ooh. Peter, it turns out there's still people out here, and if you thought and you thought we were the only ones who survived, I've decided I'm gonna stay with them for a while. I don't think it's practically safe, particularly par particularly safe here, but I'm tired of running. Sometimes you just have to slow your mouth down to say a word. You know we're not getting any younger. There's this guy, Ryan, an old guy like us who reminds me of how much we've aged. All of them think they have a story to tell since they lived through Judgment Day. You know what he asks me? He asks if I remember coffee. Quite an icebreaker, don't you think? I think you'd like him. You guys would be quite a time annoying me. My watch is ending soon. I miss you, and I miss real coffee. Wonder what they're using for coffee instead. So it looks like there's a bit of the map over. Oh. Oh! <laughs> there's one over there! Second batch going through. Got it. One more to go. Oh, there's a, there's a safe point over there. Interesting. It looks like I might be able to make a run for it. I don't see. I don't think that one even noticed. Oh, no, he's coming to get me. They ragdoll like real. They think they're real people. They ragdoll like real people. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, they're going over there. Interesting. I don't need to heal, I'm fine. Uh, do I have room in my inventory for that?
close that door. Go ahead and save. Perfect. Look at us. These AI think they can better than us. Please. We are the makers. We will not be. Ooh. I will not be turned into Swiss cheese or made irrelevant because of some robot. Oh, downstairs. Wait a minute. Check it. Okay, looks good. Looks clean. Hell yeah. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Looks like somebody was here. Ooh, dusty. <coughs> At least I hope that's dust and not ash. Those two are still up there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh. They walk in a path. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, there was a. Damn it. Well, I could wait here for them. I don't think I'm going to. Move, 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 move. Didn't know there was a second one. Oh, shit. That's right, bitch. You lost me. Move, 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 move. Okay, all good. All. Whoa, whoa. Something big is coming this way. Yeah, I see you there. Should be quicker to get up. That's how it's done. Shouldn't be leaving your canisters like that all over the place. That's just not good for anybody. That's littering. And look what it got you. Look, we're humans. We understand what littering has done to our planet. And well, look what happened to us. So yeah, you know. Uh oh. Um. Well. Ooh. Passage. <whistles> I think I took out a majority of these guys. Yay me! I am the superior being for now. I will probably live to regret those words. Probably. Save. I love how this sticks to, um... Oh, God. I can't remember if this was T3 or T2. I mean, I think it's funny because it still uses floppy dicks. Dicks? Flo oh, God. <laughs> Ah, uh, discs! <laughs> uh, you know, I'm shutting up. I don't know why I talk.
I, I. I mean, if anything, it's going to be clipped. Just why do I say things? Why do I say things? Trade resources. I'm going to have plenty of trade resources. The game auto saved. Okay. So I'm on the right path. Is there anything in. in oh, wait a minute. Med kit, yes. <laughs> why do I say words? It's true. I don't know why I say words. Oh, well, okay. What is what am I seeing here? Oh, that's the doors. All you need is Seb. I think that's a cola in the Terminator universe. I don't know. I need to refamiliarize myself with Terminator, the Terminator franchise. God, it's been forever since I've actually seen the movies. I think I think honestly, I just got so kind of like, eh. Which isn't fair because there are some good movies. The first two, obviously, T3 has a good action sequence. Let's we'll, we'll be fair there. I need to craft some lock picks. Oh, I found I found a lock pick. Excellent. Look, I had to look in the toilet because in these games, sometimes you just have to look in the toilet because for some reason, sometimes in post apocalyptic worlds, things somehow end up in the toilet. I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just play the games that do that abide by them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I forgot I said that already. <laughs> Uh Anywho. Oh, that's a that doesn't go anywhere. Going up, going up, going up, getting that vantage point. Since we're up here. That's another rule. If you're high up and you have a sniper rifle, equip your sniper rifle. Oops. That's the last one. Good job with these pictures, River. We're one step closer to preparing a counterattack. I'm starting to see why Skynet isn't so fond of you. Now get your ass back to the shelter. I mean, I'm just a private. Or, well, no, you promoted me to lieutenant. But I didn't do anything. Ooh, ooh that's a... Mm -hmm. wonder if there's a sh plasma shotgun. I would like a plasma shotgun. Plasma shotgun sounds nice. Uh, save, 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 save. Let's save real quick. There we go. Oh, crafting table. Uh Sticky Bomb, can grenade, termination knife, med kit two. Okay, I haven't quite raised up to that yet. Oh, I can literally take anyway. I mean there is this unexplored area, but I th oh 
Now I completed all the side quests, so I think I'm good. Let's get out of here. I think I think we're ready to move. I think we're ready to move on. I just gotta remember. Uh, what is my uh, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. offensive weapon? Yes. Uh, oh God, how do I? Uh, what was my offensive weapon? When you go from doom to this, it's fit. It's um. Mm hmm. Offensive weapon. Throw offensive weapon. RB. Rats. Hell yeah! Pasadena is far gone, but I managed to complete my first mission as a tech comm soldier. Now it's time to say goodbye to my companions before I go and join Commander Baron and her South Division. <sighs> Virtual! Welcome in! How are you doing, buddy? Jacob. Just peachy How good. Is Pasadena? Uh, you know what? Forget I asked. I don't want to know. I'm just glad that you're all right. And how are you doing? I guess I'm a little nervous before tomorrow. I, I never asked you. What are you planning to do tomorrow? I've been meaning to tell you earlier, but I panicked. And that's because... I decided to go with Ryan. We'll find somewhere safe, away from all this. You have to understand, I need to do what's best for Patrick. I'm his big sis. I need to protect him. I... I haven't told him yet. He'll be devastated leaving you and Aaron, but I think it's for the best. Probably for the best, Jen. Aren't you curious about what happened in Pasadena? No. I think I'd rather keep that place in the past. Actually, I have a confession to make. I've never been outside of Pasadena until now. Can you believe that? That's not surprising. After all, that's where your home is. Where it used to be. Right now, I'm going to try someplace new to call home. I did my traveling through pictures and postcards that wanderers brought with them. <sighs> my favorite had a little flamingo drinking water from a lake on it. Its long red neck curved like a snake. Hmm. Patrick's mother gave me that postcard. Huh. It's funny how I never met my mother, but I was around to see Patrick's leave him. Ooh. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. Don't be. I had a pretty good childhood, apart from the nuclear holocaust and all. Arkham, welcome in, buddy! Mom brought him in. They were both tired and dirty, so we took care of them. Patrick was crying a lot. He was teething at the time. How are you doing, buddy? I think that was what scared her away. She just couldn't handle the crying. Was she? I left her. For the time she was with us, I like to pretend she was my mother too. After she took off, I was devastated. But my father said, you need to grow up. You have a brother now. So I burned the postcard. Damn. The little red flamingo flew up in flames. And I promised myself I'd never be weak again. But 
I guess we all need someone we can be weak with sometimes, don't we? Yeah. No, that absolutely is the case. Go to sleep? Uh, I guess I'll go to sleep. Uh, but first... And... Yep. Yeah, I guess I can trade that too. I've got one. This one's got the scope, so that's worth more. There you go. Ah, that's pretty good. God, now I've got all this stuff. Uh, except transaction. Uh, lordy. Uh, two... I'll buy those. Uh, two pipe bombs. How many medkits? I have 11 medkits. Okay. Nah, good on medkits. Uh... Go ahead and take the pipe bombs. A few hours later. Wake up. We need to move. What's going on? Everyone, wake up. You need to get out of here. Who the fuck are you? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you can't stay here any longer. She asks a question, and I suggest answer. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't want to do that. I've got this place rigged with explosives, and there's a detonator in my pocket. You got what? Do you mind? Lower your gun, Ryan. He's the one that saved my life. What do you want from us? You have to get out of here. Skynet's on its way. They finally found you. What do you mean they found us? They were looking for us? No, me. Not for you. For him. He's essential to winning this war. Skynet knows that. That's why they've been following him for months. Months? I have to make sure nothing happens to him. In a couple of minutes, an infiltrator will walk in here trying to kill him. I can't let that happen. We have to bury that Terminator here once and for all. All right, everybody, you heard him. Let's get moving. I'll get the bus ready. There's no time for that. There's a passage here. It will lead you out. Use it. What was that? Time to go. All right, everyone, get out. Jacob. Give me that. It's the same one. It's the same model. Leave. Now. How the hell is he still alive? Go, go, go. Because he's not Watch human. Out. Don't just oh. stand there! Run! Don't show me twice, I'm gone! Ooh! We were able to escape thanks to the stranger. He sacrificed himself and buried the infiltrator once and for all. <laughs> That's cute. But with Patrick hurt from the explosion, others had no other option. They had to join me at the resistance shelter. <laughs> but once and for all. <laughs> Oh, you that's cute. You keep thinking that. Oh, you're so cute. Baron, listen to us. She could no longer deny that this infiltrator was a real threat. She decided to take everyone in on her terms. Oh, God. The shelter was on high alert, but... Thanks to the intel I gathered in Pasadena, we slowed the advance of the Annihilation Line and gained some time. Just enough to start preparing the counterattack. Uh-huh. Sounds good. <sighs> Two weeks later. Holy cow. I have a skill point. Uh, uh, hacking, hack hard terminals. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's it. Get XP faster. That's the one we want. If I didn't know any better, I would say I had spurs on my boots. 
It honest to God sounds at ease. Oh, I've been promoted. Sergeant. Well, look at you, Sergeant. When you helped us in Pasadena the other day, I was trying really hard not to panic because you were only a private. Sorry for underestimating you. I guess I should salute or something. How's Patrick? Every day a little better. Aaron says he'll be back on his feet in no time. She's done a great job with him. I wish I could repay her somehow. It just doesn't seem that she needs anything. Getting ready for another scavenging run? No, I just came out here to catch my breath. Baron is giving us the entire evening off, believe it or not. Doesn't sound like her. I need to report to Baron. All right, I'm getting warm. <sighs> oh, <sighs> sucks when it's getting warmer out because it means I can't wear jackets anymore. Watch your head. Rivers, DN four six eight nine zero. The commander is expecting you in the control room, Sergeant. <gasps> puppy! Hi, puppy. Oh, I can't pet the puppy. Oh. Maraschino huh. cherries again. Where do they keep finding this shit? Oh. I don't get it. How did they bring that buggy down here? <coughs> hey. I'm just catching up with Mark. I'll get back to work in a couple of minutes. You won't tell, right? <laughs> uh, but, but no, seriously, you won't tell, right? I'm not going to say anything. I'm going out soon. I haven't made my daily quota yet. I still have three more rats to catch. If you see one, Should I be know. remembering these names or are these people that I'm going to get to know that I uh, that are probably going to die? need anything can I see your hardware uh, let's see Oops. damage 20% fire rate 20% mm. Hey, Ryan, how's everything? Uh, exactly as you would imagine. Baron's keeping me busy. They weren't kidding when they said she's a hard ass. What's on your mind? Well, you really got me thinking about old Tucker again. In times like these, I wouldn't mind having him around. He always know what to do. He was the only one who didn't lose his mind after Judgment Day. What did he do? Finally found me hiding below the stage. I was such a nervous wreck. So to try to calm me down, he just said, that man sucked anyway. That's the way to go about Tucker it. said, we need to be calm right now. I listened to him. We all did. Survivors from the concert. Did you drive someplace safe? It was my first call. Just drive. We gave it a shot. Kept running into these sandstorms. Every car fucked up after a couple of miles. Turned out that atomic dust ain't so great with engines. Write that down, everybody. Write Finally, that down. We found a couple houses, but the people there were as confused as we were. All the communication went to shit. Tucker managed to find some batteries, and uh, we sat in front of our boombox. They started to list cities to avoid. Cities that were hit by the nuclear bombs. How many cities were hit? I don't know exactly how many, but it took them a couple of minutes just to go through the A's. We looked at each other crying. We just wanted to go home and be with family, but Tucker said that for now, 
safest place there is is right where we were. So we decided to stay and start a camp. Like, I could probably sit and talk to these guys for a while, but probably shouldn't. Oh, hey. Are you all right? Me? Honey, I'm about the most well-adjusted person in this goddamn place. It's the others you should be concerned about. Jennifer? I'm worried about her. I'm the one that asked Baron to give her team a little break. Jennifer's been busy scavenging supplies for the soldiers, and she hardly had time to see Patrick. And now she's finally got a day off. She's avoiding him like the plague. How's Patrick doing? He's fine, but it wouldn't kill you if you checked on him yourself. Is there anything you need? No. I have to say, the Resistance is pretty well supplied. Don't tell me you miss running errands for me. I don't believe that for a I mean, I don't mind it. It got me a chance and to explore. What about something other than medicine? Honey, I'm not shy. I'll let you know if I need anything, okay? But thank you for asking. You mean Ryan? Ryan ain't so hot either, but that's another story. Take care. <gasps> oh, your puppy's still here. How are What's you up, doing? buddy? Good. Aaron's going to let me leave in a couple of days. Thanks for bringing that chalk. I've been drawing a lot. I'd be so bored without it. How do you like living in the shelter? There's a lot of people here. I like that. I heard a funny joke yesterday. Oh boy. Want to hear it? <laughs> yeah, tell me. What's brown and sticky? Hmm. A stick. Uh, <laughs> kid, I'll give you points. You know what? <laughs> That's funny. I know, right? I'll give you points. All right. How's Jennifer? She's out a lot, but I understand. She's a scavenger. I have to go. Alton lost his spider scout again. Man, I saw it crawling through the shelter earlier. Almost gave me a heart attack. Somebody's got a spider thing? Random, John Connor. Commander Baron, I am very pleased to read the mission report from Pasadena. You're probably aware of this, but it is essential that we mobilize all the troops in your area and abandon all level three outposts. I understand the consequences and will take full responsibility for this. As for Private Rivers, I believe he deserves recognition for his actions. Perhaps a promotion is in order. I will leave that decision to you. I want you to keep him close. Signed, John Connor. You wanted to see me. You're finally here. Good. I have a special task for you. I want you to head downtown to check on the doctor. Doctor? Alvin. Who? He's out there making sure that our defense systems are working properly. Uh -huh. Ever since we went radio silent, I had a small team of trustworthy messengers maintaining communication between our outposts. They haven't returned. So I want you to go downtown and see why that happened. Could be nothing. But Connor doesn't want any hiccups while he's up there in North Division preparing the attack on Skynet's central core. Is there a problem with the radio? The Annihilation Line is within spitting distance of downtown. We suspect that Skynet will be intercepting all transmissions from that location. So for now, we're going radio silent. That's why I need you to go there personally. Uh... If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here? Excuse me if I act a little surprised, Sergeant. But no one in here thinks it's wise to ask their superior personal questions. What? I'm just trying to get to know you better. Good. I'll humor you. So, how did I get here? The same way you did. I was born, raised, and given a gun. We don't really have a say in what we do, do we? Or do I assume too much? Was it any different for you? Hmm? Why do you fight, Sergeant? It's the right thing to do. 
There's nothing noble in what we do. Humans were fighting humans since the beginning of time. It just so happens that right now we have a common enemy. If it wasn't for the machines, we'd probably be fighting each other. I mean, I'd like to be a little optimistic about it, but... That doesn't mean we should give up and stop fighting. No. No, it doesn't. I'm just warning you. Don't hold your breath waiting for all of this to be over. There will always be another war. She's a Besides, bright a and cheerful fighter. person. When I go out there in the middle of the night with my Westinghouse, I'm not looking for a fight. I look to seek and conquer. I'm not a fighter. I'm a bully. <laughs> um... What's the difference? What's the difference? I don't treat them as equals. And although I know they're just machines, I want them to fear me. No one ever stands up to bullies. But I have to admit, it has its downsides. One of them being that no one ever asks me a personal question. At least not since Perry died. Perry? So congratulations, Rivers. It takes guts to stand up to a bully. I guess since your promotion, you got a little more cocky. Good for you. Well, you know. Central core? Skynet's main reactor. The source of all their power. We shut down the central core, we shut down Skynet. Connor's preparing Do we know? We so you understand we can't have any critical I'm sure they have a backup. It's 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 a computer program. It has to have a backup. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to, but I mean Ryan, okay, you guys are good. Why is Ryan's dot bigger than the others? Jacob. What happened after you started your camp? Honestly, well, not that much. At least not in the beginning. When we gave up on the idea of getting in touch with anyone, we just tried to adapt. Temperatures fell, we had to scavenge for food. All of a sudden, that became our life. When did you first hear about Skynet? Oh, that came years later. We did hear some rumors about robot warriors, but you must understand how crazy it sounded back then. And that wasn't even the most insane story out there. My favorite one was about the radioactive squirrel zombies. That sounds oh, terrifying. I know how stupid it sounds. But we managed to have fun in our little commune. I still have my guitar. Radioactive squirrel zombies. No, thank you. I'm famous, fine. Because we're the only living band in the world. What was your band's name? Well, we were thinking about changing it to Survivors. But something similar was already taken. We were just stupid kids, not realizing what was going on. We paid the price for it the first time we saw a tin can. I was tuning my guitar when I heard a strange noise. I found out later that it was a T-400. Must have heard me play. It didn't even have the decency to look scary. Maybe if it did, we wouldn't have just stood there when it started firing. What did you do? I froze. I didn't run to help. I didn't scream. I didn't even move. I just stood there, like a coward. A tin can got Tucker with a single bullet. Bam, just like that. Seven other people died before we finally destroyed that thing. Ironically enough, I was the one who delivered the final blow. Safe to say, it was the beginning of a new era. Oh. Uh Jacob. I guess there if it's what did you hear? A lot of rumors going around of how she's sending insubordinate workers to the front line. And by insubordinate, I mean people who ain't willing to work 18 hours a day. Every day. Okay. So if the icons are bigger green, they, we've got to talk to them more. Okay. No, oh, alright, that makes sense.
With the Annihilation Line under control, we have some time to prepare a counterattack. In the meantime, Commander Baron wants me to check in on Alvin, who is downtown main doing maintenance work for our defense systems. More wounded! We need a medic over here! I'm telling you, I saw something. What's happening, Private? A couple of aerials flew in and dropped containers full of metals. They started shooting while our defense systems did nothing. What about the doctor? Where's Alvin? He's still out there. All right. There's one more thing. Before I got hit and dragged here, I saw something. I'm not sure, but I think it was one of our own soldiers that led Skynet's attack. Oh, great. The infiltrators are here. Sergeant, we're outnumbered, and they keep bringing more wounded. We don't stand a chance. We have to evacuate. Is Alvin still there? He is, sir. Then we're not leaving. We have to bring him back and see what the hell is going on with those defenses and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm moving out. You stay here with the wounded. You want me to break the radio silence? At this point, it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, that's fair. Go ahead, sir. Open her up! Two, follow me. We have to reach those defense systems. Yes, sir. Spiders mm. up ahead. Got it. Lead the way. This way. Good to see you, Sergeant. What's the status? We've got a defensive perimeter set up just down the road. Doesn't seem to be working. Skynet dropped reinforcements behind your back. Now they're between a rock and a hard place. All right, we need to reach our guys. Let's clear the way. Here we go. I didn't realize I shot its fuel tank. I am very hurt. Inventory, uh, offensive weapon. I'm gonna need. Miss Jones, welcome in. How are you doing? Oh my god. I'm not here. Oh, I'm not here. I'm not here. Oh. Now, shoot 
move before it reboots! Nope, nope. I'll take all that, thank you. Flamethrower! Shoot the tank! Cover! Can do. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sergeant, we got this. Go find the dog. Follow me. We need to rescue the dog before those tanks reach us. Oh, shit. We're too late. They're already here. Uh. Oh. Ooh, run, 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 just run, 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 running, 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 running. This is it. Take care of those drones. an ammo dump or ammo box wait where is it ammo 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 yep thank you Alpha. Right. oh my god i'm actually glad to see you what happened here why are the defense systems not working they are working but their target filtering has been reset to non-hostile one of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did! Baron's messengers, we need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. I'm all for that. Uh-oh. Uh oh uh oh uh oh Are you all right? We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. Gah! Go! I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Dude, nobody does! Just shut up and run! Oh. Oh. OK, 
Okay, go! It's turning around! It's right behind us! Don't look back! Good idea! Just keep running, just keep running, 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 running. Just keep running. It can't hurt us if we don't see it. Woo! Okay, I think we're safe. I think, I think we're safe. Are we safe? I don't know. Oh, hey, all advantages that we've managed to gain is now lost. Downtown is gone. Annihilation line will continue to push forward. We need to prepare ourselves for whatever's coming. Damn, okay. So we literally, that was just literally shoot do this and blurt out oh yeah you're fucked you go talk to commander baron i've had enough excitement for one day okay thanks thanks for that hey are you all right we just got the news about the attack they're getting closer aren't they Hey, <laughs> glad to see you alive. And thanks for sticking your neck out for us. I wanted to tell you that, you know, just in case. Jennifer? Huh. Wasn't expecting to find you here. You always seem to be out these days. Yeah, that's true. Lately, I've been making extra runs to stock up on resources. Truth is, I was even thinking about leaving. But right now, I'm just waiting for my team to head back to downtown to look for other survivors. Let's hope there still are some. I see that Patrick's doing better. He is. He's a fighter. Certainly has more courage than I do. Why did you want to leave? In the face of what's going on now, it will sound stupid, but... It just got to be a bit much, you know? With Patrick Hurd, I start to wonder if I'm even doing him any good by sticking around. I've been trying to protect him all this time, but I couldn't. I've proven that much already. First in Pasadena, then at our hideout. I was thinking that maybe he'd be safer here at the shelter. But don't worry, I changed my mind. So well, that's good. Is there something on your mind? Actually, I have a secret to tell you. You have a fan. Patrick really looks up to you. It's good for him to have a role model. And I don't think he could have chosen better. Aww. Thank you. It means a lot. Are you kidding? It's the least I can do for helping us all this time. If you hadn't found us back in Pasadena, I don't know what would have happened. Well, actually I do. Exactly what the others said would happen. People were talking about the Annihilation Line months before it came. My father, of course, tried to turn it all into a joke. But what did you think about it? I didn't know what to think. Travelers would bring all sorts of gossip with them. <sighs> but this I actually like the RPG elements here. When Patrick asked me if I was scared, I lied and said that I wasn't. You could feel the mood change at the house. The community my father tried to build started falling apart. Fewer and fewer people were coming by. And if they did, they weren't always friendly. We started to notice things going missing. Little things at first. People got nervous. And with time, it even got to my father. What do you mean? Well, for one thing, he stopped making jokes. It had never been as quiet at the house as it had been back then. After a while, my father changed the sign from welcome to beware. He put a lock on the door and started carrying a shotgun. I didn't even know he owned a gun. He always said he didn't believe in them. I wanted us to leave our house and run, but he didn't want to listen. Said it was the only place he could keep us safe. Thanks for letting me spill my guts like I that. see Patrick's been busy with uh, the artwork. No, I really do appreciate the RPG elements uh, of a game like this. It adds more depth to it and depth to it. And it, yeah, that, that, that it makes it feel uh, more, I wouldn't say realistic, but absolutely brings to life the game more. 
If you understand. Uh, did, did you talk to her? I, is she mad at me? If I follow her orders, then I'm a bad guy. If I don't follow her orders, then I'm a lousy, incompetent egghead without a spine. There's no winning with her. Stream's going okay so far, Miss Jones. Thanks for getting us out of there, Sergeant. What's up? I know you're busy, but I found something. Something I think you'll like. A tape from back in the day. I want to play it for you, but my boombox is busted. So uh, if you're out there and find one that works, bring it to me, okay? Can't you ask Jennifer or one of the other scavengers for help? I already did, but they couldn't find anything. Just think about it, okay? Jacob. How are the wounded doing? The few that came back, they're doing fine. We patched them up, and at this point, we're just sitting and waiting. You never told me you had a husband. <laughs> you never asked. Was he at that camp with you? He was. Sweet little man. I had to take care of him when they sent us to work, because he was so fragile. Back at the camp, I used to think that the machines kept Peter alive to get me to cooperate. So when there was an opportunity to run, we had to take it. And we did. We ran with this little child that I had started to love. I felt that she was mine. What was her name? Her name was Taylor. Peter said it sounded too manly. So I said, good. We'll finally have a man in the family. But as you know nowadays, no story has a happy ending. She died shortly after. We buried her, and we stopped talking to each other. Oof. Eventually, the Annihilation Line caught up with us. We got separated. I ran away. He did too. At least, I hope he did. That's all. Damn. What's in your mind? Ever since you asked me about Peter, I can't stop thinking about him. Like a teenage girl. <laughs> That's your fault, young man. Sorry. Have you tried looking for him? I've looked for him for a while. I went to the place where we said we'd meet if we ever got separated. But he wasn't there. Maybe it's stupid. Maybe I should stop thinking about him. He's... He's probably dead by now. God knows he can't take care of himself. Do you want to find him? Sometimes I think I should drop everything and go. I would get an earful from Baron. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Anyway, what I didn't tell you before is that during Judgment Day, I lost a child. Our child. I don't know if it would have happened anyway, but I like to blame the machines for that. I think that Peter felt with Taylor we were given a second chance. God, he's still out there waiting for me, isn't he? Probably sitting in his rocking chair back in our house in Hollywood Hills. Eh. Oh, where the hell are you, Peter? I doubt it, Aaron, but you know what? Hey, keep hope alive. I gotta say, this is, it's kind of like RoboCop. The game had its up moments. This game, woof, they're far and in between. Rivers, you want to explain to me what the hell happened? Yeah. We lost downtown. I know that much, but how's that possible? What happened to our defense systems? Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals. He said what? Ah, all right. This is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, despite what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. And you know what I mean by that. Do you think the infiltrator's back? 
We won't be sure until you find those messengers and confirm my suspicion. Oh boy. Mention it. What? One of our soldiers said that it looked as if one of our guys led Skynet's attack. That only supports my case. As soon as you know what's going on, radio me. Who's Perry? You mentioned him before. The best soldier I ever fought beside. He was the one who brought me into the resistance. We're getting personal, Actually, damn it. We're getting to know this cast of characters. Years ago, when I was just a kid, I saw a Skynet drone <clears throat> attacking some guy. Without thinking, I grabbed a rock and jumped on it. The guy was screaming the whole time while I beat the metal to the ground. Damn. Only when I was done did I realize he was trying to stop me. It seems you were a tough kid. Life didn't exactly soften me much. To survive, I embraced the savage it made me. He was a resistance scientist, and that drone <laughs> was one of his projects. Whoops. So you can imagine he wasn't too happy when I smashed it to pieces. But he wasn't alone. There was this huge guy with a rifle on his shoulder, almost choking with laughter. I sure made his day. That huge guy. Was that Perry? Yes, it was. Commander Perry was in charge of this division before me. That scientist later told me that was the first time he ever heard Perry laugh. Somehow, Perry and I connected. He taught me how to channel my anger and get it under control. He introduced me to Connor, and that's how I got to the 132nd. Whatever happened to Perry? Skynet got hold of our position. We had to leave our shelter. There were a lot of casualties, <sighs> and he was one of them. He died a soldier. I'd never thought I'd be reminiscing about the day I met them. This may come as a surprise to you, but it was the first medal I ever destroyed. Back from the Indie World presentation. Oh, that's right. That was today. I completely forgot. I'm not surprised. You were still just a kid. That doesn't mean I didn't have a kill count back then. It just consisted of people. But that's a different story. Did you want me to break radio silence? They have a head start. Look on forward us. to At seeing point, what uh, was announced. Looks like we're going hunting. God, there's a whole area of this that I haven't even seen yet. Oh, Patrick. Patrick, you're up? There are people who need help more than me. Anyway, I can't talk. I have to bring something important to Aaron. Okay. Back out we go. Commander Baron wants me to find the team of messengers that gave the order that sabotaged our defense systems. They are equipped with GPS trackers, and it seems they're keeping a lookout near the warehouse district area. During this mission, exact locations of your targets are not displayed. However, there are two signal strength indicators on the upper left corner of your HUD. Increasing percentage value indicates you're moving towards the target. Okay, seems easy enough. Probably nothing good. More plasma containers. Looks like Skynet's here for good. Flamethrower. If I could get close enough to take a picture.
Uh, uh oh. Well, damn. <laughs> Well, it's like, oh, they're coming this way. Uh oh, what do I do? Oh, I die. <laughs> this is what I do, I die. Uh. A little further back here. Wait for it. Wait for it. And. Come on, you son of a bitch. Fighters. Uh, actually, let me take some cover here. I have two skill points. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Damage decrease. Ooh. <sighs> Weapon upgrades ten percent more effective. Faster reload. <sighs> Regeneration that seems pretty good. Okay, um, let's see, uh, let me see, let's see. All right, so damage. Uh, no, stability. I need stability. What? Mm. Okay, I got stability there. Image. Uh huh. Three, 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 three. I need a three, two. Three, two. To do damage. Um. Chat, how are we doing? Are we still doing okay? Been a while since I actually addressed you directly. So, hey, how's everybody doing? Right, they just left the damage on it. Surviving. That's a mood, and I totally understand that. But I am glad to hear you are surviving. Doesn't have a clip. Fire rate? Uh, shots to overheat, stability. Work programs creep crashing on us. Well, that's not good. got a little better the damage two tiles picking up little kitty big city oh little kitty big city oh that's one title i the title intrigues me i'm i'm, I'm intrigued 
um, square, square, square. Flip. Yeah. Triple with an ends with a square. Um. base. Crafting table. Save game. Perfect. Yahtzee. All right, move out. Yeah, picture perfect radio for Ryan. Picture perfect, picture perfect. Oh, take a perfect picture of a T-800 flamer. Is that really what they're called? Flamer. Okay, called flamers. Got it. I'm not going to question what a robot calls itself. Oh. I think that's our flamer there. I probably shouldn't say that. I, I should say that. Come back here. Not good enough needs to be perfect. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. Excellent. Damn it. Damn it. Thank you. 
Ooh, there's a fence. Ooh, there's a fence. Ah! Yee, 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 yee. I'm scared of you, robots. Oh, there's another one that decided to make an appearance. That's nice. Uh, is this just a hidey hole? Oh, this is fully exposed. Um, hmm. Yeah, this just must be a hidey hole. Sure, okay. I'm not hiding from the robots! The robots don't scare me. I will show them fear! Mm, looks like the scavenging parties have definitely licked this place clean, though. Um. So that's another save point. Or is it? Is there another save point? Let's be on the other side. Oh, it's right here. I'm silly. Uh, own five, own two. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Let's go wide. Wow! Violet plasma. Nope. It's an easy hack. You know what? I'm not questioning it. I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. Damn it. Damn it. That might shoot down the aerial. Maybe. But at the very least, I have a turret on my side. Turret? Turret. I mean bad, I'm right up close. Terrible? Oh, am I getting XP from... Oh, cool. Uh, suddenly this turned into Dead Rising. Oh yeah, my turret's straight up engaging it. Cool. Was that my turret or the aerial? <sighs> weapon in a weapon ineffective? Say no more. I'm sorry I took shots. I apologize. Ooh, just gonna hide in here. No, I'm not. There's no. This isn't no. This is. This is nowhere to hide. Ooh.
I might be in trouble. Uh-oh. Well, this doesn't have a functioning roof. Neither does that. Whoa. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here. Oh, hope to God it goes away. Oh, is this still shooting my turret? Oh, sweet. My turret is still... Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Oh no, my turret! Yeah! Hell yeah! Get it! <laughs> save! 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 Now! <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. Oh. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. Oh. Where'd that thing crash at? Or did it just blow up? <clears throat> Hopefully I can scavenge that. Okay. that XP. There's another turret. Excellent. Well, maybe not excellent, but... Turret right there too. That's awesome. I think I'm getting a little reckless. I think I'm getting a little cocky. I gotta be careful here. What? Protected? Oh. What does this thing have? Infrared scanners? Gonna hack this real quick. Perfect. Okay. That's another turret on my side. Hell yeah. Hells yeah. I'm actually getting close to these guys too. Got one turret over there. Ooh. I 
looking good. We're looking good. Bullseye. out of freaking nowhere yeesh how's my inventory looking oh, oh boy there's something i could sell Okay, good. Oof. Somebody needs to make their feet bigger. Or louder, because I definitely didn't hear that guy coming. What's that music? A trap? If I were to guess. Yeah, this is this is definitely a trap. Oh no. Seems to be coming from here. Upstairs. Uh-huh. Well, first off, let's close this door. Try and death kill it. Well, maybe I'll wait. I can't. I don't think I can lock pick hard, can I? No, I can't. Not yet. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn. I'm gonna have to go in guns blazing by the looks of it. There's only two of them. I should be able to take them. Better 
be worth it, Ryan. No shit. God, Ryan. Oh, this would just have been like a sneak. Okay, well, the lockpick hard would have came in handy, but eh, it's okay. Damn it, I only damaged him. Oops. I'm to Papa. Now say, hold still. Smile for the birdie. Okay. Neat. Okay. Putting upstairs. Looks like my turret's seen better days. I think I saw another one over here. Yep. Oh, here is that aerial that crashed. Ooh! I didn't even notice. It looked like part of the background. <laughs> That's effective. Ah. Do I hear? Oh, the signal strength. Easy hack. If only hacking was this easy. Seriously, if hacking was this easy, I'd be having a completely different career path. Would it be a career? Hey, let's not think about it. Oh. We made it to the rendezvous point, but haven't had any contact with Commander Baron. Why would she send us here? That this day is getting weirder and weirder. With zero radio communication, this place is getting lonely. God damn it, Gormer. Gomer? Gomer. How long does it take for you to piss? They took his radio. Baron was right. Skynet's listening. Time to look for the second tracker. There's our second or wait. No. Oh, as long as I've. Oh, OK. I got a good picture of the flame flamethrower. All is good. Get me, I know you do.
See, what terrifies me is that guy was gonna straight up walk on, uh, walk up on me. What exactly were you planning on doing there, bucko? Still another one over there. Chip, chip, forty percent. Oh. oh, I don't have any small med kits. Oh, oh, I picked up a laser trap. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> laser. How? I picked up. When did I start picking up missiles? Hold on a minute. Where is there? Wait a minute. Where? I missed a rocket launcher somewhere. Where is it? Huh? That's that is interesting. Stop shooting my turret. Hey, you seem to be on fire, sir. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Okay. <sighs> Pardon me. Locked from the other side. There we go. So somewhere there's a rocket launcher. I don't know where, but I've somehow got the ammo for it without picking it up, which is very strange. I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure it's somewhere that I can find out in the open. Hmm. Gee, an American flag hanging from a building. I wonder if that's technically pointing me where I need to go. Well, screw you, game. I don't obey your rules. I'm going to explore and look around. Till I get myself killed, because that's typically what happens. Game saved. Why are you auto-saving? That's why you're auto-saving. There's spiders. So many spiders. You see me? These can't open doors, right? No, they cannot. Okay, good to know. Nothing. Damn. We've got a armored spider. Okay. Oh, hi. Don't mind me.
like I fear these things anymore. That's where the outpost used to be. I hope that destroying it slowed them down at least. Where, where, what are we looking at? Oh. I was like, what are we talking about? Oh, have I been here before? I've been here before. I think I have anyway. Yeah, I've been here before. Why are you auto saving? Oh, wait, wasn't I just I was just in this building. Cause I'm silly. That's why I'm going around in circles. <sighs> yep, I'd be me. I'd be me. Blow up trailer to get inside. Okay. I didn't even realize those were over there. Again, silly me. Oh. Hey, dirt. So many resources. Woo. Any more? No? All right. What the hell? Hey, awesome. Great find. Uh, okay, so there's an ammo box over here. That's a hard door, which is fine. Um, I guess we'll go up this way. Or I can go over here and see what's over here. Shit. You don't see me. You don't see me around this telephone pole. <sighs> nice and gentle like. Wait for it to turn. Come on. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Just hold still, my friend, hold still. You will soon be an ally of the resistance. Like that. I've got a couple terminators over there. Go ahead and search this corpse. Perfect. Um. All right, I've got one other turret I'm going to try and sneak around to get to. Ooh. Perfect. What do we got? 
Hopefully that didn't attract too much attention. Ooh, this one's a little spicy. So much crafting, so many materials, so much wow. All right, so this is the old resist. Let's go get old resist. Yeah, I have been here before. I'm fairly certain. Yes, this is the old resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm not crazy. I have explored the warehouse district before. Okay. That generator is leaking a massive amount of oil. That is not good. Oh, that's a lockpick hard. Okay. Well, damn. <laughs> I know, I know, but uh, different in good ways, the good ways. <laughs> wow, wow, okay, I'm just, I'm just put that knife right here. There we go. Yeah, just, that's fine, just stay right there. <laughs> Right back at you. <laughs> Keep it far <laughs> for. Yeah, it's, it'll be there for you when you need it. <laughs> uh, you never fail to make me laugh. Okay, that's a turret that I need to get under my control. What's your range? Oh. Oh. You coming, bud? Which way are you coming? You're about to die. I saw a green light and I kind of was kind of scared for a second, but okay. So it looks like weapon upgrades are definitely going to be a thing here soon. At the very least, um, the Terminators are getting upgrades. So hopefully I can. come after me? Well, that's disappointing. See, you didn't get the upgrade. You're still firing bullets. I'm firing lasers. Laser traps. Something I haven't actually set yet.
Is this an exit? Ooh. Oh, I don't have. Nothing to it. Oh. Now it's stuff I can take. Oh, no note. Damn, I was hoping there'd be some kind of secret back here. No. Cheers. Thank you very much. Yeah, so there is a rocket launcher I have not found yet. I think stacks, right? I okay, yeah, everything does stack. Okay. <sighs> Temporary improves endurance, slowed on time. I would say now that I've got quite a few turrets on the field, I'm not too worried about roaming around. That's my problem. I get a little cocky and something is going to spring up at me and then I'm going to die a horrible, painful death. Which, you know, when you're this cocky, you, you, you so rightfully deserve. I mean, that that is... But I have the confidence to go with it, so you know what? I'm I'm going oh, in with it. Another storage facility popping up. If I take care of it, that might slow them down a little. All right, let's do it. It's just a spider. Not too worried about that. I think I'm getting closer. Uh, it's got to be here. I know the beeping is kind of telling, isn't it? Probably going to be a goddamn Terminator. We're just going to save just in case. Is that a bomb? Well, he's been here a while, so that's not him. Looks like a bomb. Like, look, I'm no, I'm no explosives expert, but that looks like a bomb.
It must be downstairs. He left a note, though. His goggles look intact. Let's see the last picture he took. The infiltrator. It's back. Baron was right. Commander. Talk to me. They're dead. Everything turned out the way you said it would. Copy that. Get out of there. We need to figure out our next move. Let's meet at the docks. Get there as soon as possible. Over and out. Why would she give out our location? That she's setting a trap. That's why. That's why she knows what she's doing. Well, oh, OK. Yeah. Right. Hopefully I'm able to hack that gate. I didn't level up, did I? No. Yes. Okay, here we go. When comms are being monitored, has no one seen Star Trek 2 Wrath of Khan? That's a whole that's a whole ploy. Actually, I know some people that haven't seen it, so it's okay. I just, I was just still that that is a, that is a thing that happens. Uh, what was it? Uh, lockpick. Lockpick. Um uh, Yeah. Ooh, lockpicking or hacking? Lockpicking or hacking? Chance of brute force hacking increased by 40%. Open hard locks. There is a hard lock right now. <sighs> oh, man. I think I'll go with this. Probably end up regretting it, but you know what? It's okay. Ooh. Okay, we've got a turret and at least two T-800s. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Sneaking, I am sneaking, I am sneaking, I am sneaking. What was it detected? What are you talking about? Shh. Go away. Shut up. <laughs> they have to go the long way to see me. A sound. Ha <laughs> ha! This is going to be fun. Uh, by fun, it could absolutely be terrible for me, but we're going to find out. Take cover.
Oh, good. Hold up. Where was that weapons cache at? Oh, hello! Is that them? Damn it, I was hoping for a rocket launcher at least. There's a rocket launcher around here. There, there is a rocket launcher in game. I don't know where it is. I'm sure I can find it. But for now, let's just blow this popsicle stand. You know, for an outpost, they only left two guards and a turret. That's weird. Run! 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 Ooh! Two! One! T uh, turret survived. What of? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where that rocket launcher got to. Or where it is. But you know what? That's okay. That's not important right now. What's important uh, is for me to save my game uh, before the infiltrator finds me. Because I'm sure he's a coming. Oh, I was that just one big circle? Hold on a minute. How do you turn your how do I, what's the flashlight again? Oh down. Oh yeah, that is one giant circle. Okay. Yeah, safe station I think is upstairs. Um. I don't need no. Let's let's do eight. Uh, I own one. Well, I get XP from crafting? Oh. Huh. I guess I never really realized that. Okay, uh, this way. Onwards! Game saved. Why did you auto save? Why did you auto? Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why. Bullseye. Every time. It's like shooting robotic fish in a barrel. I tell you, it's amazing. It's amazing. This game really flew under my radar for so long. It's weird. I'm kind of saddened by it because seriously, this game is awesome. I really love Ooh, oh, 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 Shut up. This game is awesome.
Oh, I don't have a Heelys. That's problematic. Uh oh. I don't have the Heelys. Oh no. Can't go this way. Okay. Is there anything? Ah, cool. Oh, the. Damn it, I gotta backtrack. There was that hard lock picking I just bypassed. I gotta go back and get it. Uh, where were you? I think, yeah, that's you over there in that safe point. Bit of a hike, but I think I'm safe for now. I think I've more or less killed all of the tin cans that are around here. Which is what we want. We want the total annihilation of the tin can threat. I say it shouldn't be that far of a hike. Oh, oh yeah, the shotgun that I. <laughs> Wait, is that it? No, it's over this way. It was like a... I think it was back here. Somewhere around here. Where were you? Where? Huh? Yep, this is it. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Med kit. Yes, please. Thank you. All right, I'm going to save. That was worth coming back for. That was absolutely worth coming back for. All right, let's move out. It's been so long since I've had a full goatee. I actually feel it. Worried about the Terminators for. I took them out, no problem. I only died once. I say as I'm probably going to die multiple times again and again and again and again. That's okay. It's part of the experience. This looks familiar. Sticky bomb, nice. Probably should have picked up that shotgun for sale, but it's okay. Save station.
Sweet, more med kits. Oh, more. Yes, please. Crafting table. Nice. Okay, this looks pretty clear. Um, I own 753 of those. I think I'm okay. Save. The infiltrator is back. Commander Baron wants to personally make sure that we stop it once and for all. I'll be meeting her at the docks to try and figure out our next move. Uh, yeah, we're going to meet at the docks so we can take this thing out. You're still alive? Good. Apparently Skynet's got a real hard on for you. So we figured why not use you as bait? Aren't you afraid that Skynet will bring a lot of firepower if they know we're both here? Afraid? No. Prepared for that eventuality? Yes. We've got eyes on the ambush site from every angle. If anyone shows up, it means they were listening. What if it's one of our guys, or just a scavenger? Too bad. We can't have anyone or anything sabotage our plan. Not this time. This time? We were very close once before. For years, we've been preparing for the final attack. But it took just one man to fuck everything up. That day, Perry... Our previous field commander died, and I inherited control of South Division. Since then, I've been making sure that no one fucks up again. We've got movement. Take position. What do you have? A hooded man's walking down the street. Might be a scavenger. Rivers, you saw him. Is it the same model? Is it the infiltrator? I can't tell. We're waiting for your signal. I think that might be it. Think? It could be the also Stand the guy. Me. Cease fire! Cease fire! Target down! I repeat, target down! Go check him! He's just gonna get back up if it is a one. Eyes on the target. Proceed with caution. Is he dead? What nope! The it's the target! We can't get away! Fire at will! Uh oh. He's in the open. It's in the open. It's a fucking machine. It's back against the wall. We've got it now. Wait a minute. It's carrying a second generation plasma rifle. I want it. What's <laughs> that? Yes, ma'am. One ugly son of a bitch. Oh, man. Not Got eyes on target. It's inside. 
Rivers! Oh, well, she... A grenade hit me. Where did I get a grenade? Behind you, you son of a bitch. I ran towards that grenade. I was gonna do a Chuck, uh, Chuck. Steve Rogers. Just gonna jump on top of it and be okay. This thing like lobbing grenades. Nope. Oh shit. Oh, nope. This isn't a dead end. Okay. Quickly, quickly. In those headshots in. Ooh, these hurt me. This little cat and mouth. He's coming back. Son of a bitch. One more ought to do it. I see you. Commander. Yeah. Right. We finally got it. You've been terminated. The infiltrator has finally fallen. Its hyper alloy combat, combat chassis was much more resistant than before. Our weapons were outmatched. We could barely handle one of them on its own. We don't stand a chance against an army of them. But the real reason the infiltrator was Skynet's best weapon yet was because of its skin. There was no doubt anymore. Skynet had created a cybernetic organism. 
It was designed to blur the line between a man and a machine. People started to think that there were Terminators amongst us, wolves in sheep's clothes. Some of us left, even though we hadn't seen any other infiltrators yet. Yet. Or at least, we didn't think we had. And that fear of not knowing was what turned the tide of this war. That night, Skynet won. <coughs> Skynet. I, I still have to run some tests, so for now I would say no. We need some more time, Connor. I know you don't want to hear this, Commander, but if there's one person who can help us, it's Dr. Mac. Mac. It, we don't even know if he's alive. He is. He's in the Hollywood Hills. We knew a time would come when we'd need him again, so we've kept an eye on him. Wait. You've been watching him without telling me? Let your emotions cloud your judgment before, Commander. That's why I decided that Mac's whereabouts were no longer This is bullshit. Concern. He can't just magically fix all of our problems. He's a man, not a god. A man that makes that's mistakes. Enough, you know what happened last time. He's the reason Perry's dead. <laughs> Cheers. Sergeant Rivers? Yes, sir. Techcom believes that being marked for termination is a badge of honor. A sign that we're doing something right. We wear it proudly. And knowing you're wearing such a badge, Rivers, is all I need to trust you with handling this mission. Commander Baron will fill you in on the details. Good luck, soldier. Over and out. Looks like you're going to Hollywood Hills. Dr. Edwin Mack is the one who taught us how to use Skynet's weapons, so there's a chance he can do it again. Take him that second-generation plasma rifle and see if he's able to reprogram it. If we want to use Skynet's weapons, we need to bypass their encryption lockouts. How will I find him? He's obsessed with surveillance. So when you get there, look for any cameras, biometric sensors, or any other tech stuff. He should be around. That's it. Okay. Funny, that's not what he looked like when I was finished with him. <laughs> yes, I'd like that, please. Thank you very much. What do you need? Uh, anything I should know about Dr. Mac before I leave? Only that he can't be trusted and he's highly manipulative. So you need to stay cautious. Was Mac the one whose drone you smashed? Yes. Yes, it was. I've never told this to anyone, but... Before I met Mac and Perry, I was wandering alone. Didn't have a map, so I drew one myself. The first people I came across were two guys. Old enough to remember Judgment Day. We camped out together. They gave me advice, we shared some stories. Sounds nice, right? A little too good to be true. It was. I was too naive to notice it back then. When I woke up, all my things were gone, including my map. There I was, lost in the desert. Thirst and hunger. I knew I was gonna die. I passed out with my face in the sand. But next thing, I was lying in a bed, bathed and wearing clean clothes. You're lucky someone found you. Someone did find me. Too bad it was Skynet. Through the window, I saw thousands of Terminators. First, I thought it was a work camp, but it was something else. A Skynet research facility. They kept me alive, but I didn't know why. I thought I was the only human there. But after a while, someone came into my cell. A man. Well-dressed, clean-shaven. Hmm. You want to take a guess who that was? No, he was there out of his own free will. He was a traitor to his race. Bastard was selling every piece of knowledge the machines didn't have. In return, they gave him everything he wanted. Wow. When he was done stuffing his face with food, he had another request. He wanted a whore. 
It lasted months until I got to wrap a towel around his neck and make his eyes pop. Oh. You don't want to see people for what they really are. I've seen their true face. That traitor, those two guys in the desert, Mac. They all showed it to me. It's not pretty. The truth is, the only reason I fight for the resistance is because I despise people just a little less than the machines. <laughs> she appreciated that. Okay. Sure, let's trust someone who gets called Dr. Death. That won't bite us in the ass. In the meantime, I'll see what I can learn from the new CPU we acquired from that infiltrator. This could be the breakthrough that we've all been waiting for. I need to concentrate, so please don't disturb me. Okay, I'm sensing a lot of hostility. Oh, hi, Aaron. Jacob, do you have a minute? Of course. I've heard that you're going to Hollywood Hills. Well, with Baron yelling like I that, knew this was going to come up. Heard. He wanted me to tell you if I needed anything, so here it is. When you get to Hollywood Hills, could you stop by my old house? It's near the Griffith Park tennis courts. I wonder if Peter went there and left something for me. I know he'd be stupid to go there since now it's behind the annihilation line, but then again, he was always full of stupid ideas. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Look at him. He never talks to anyone. He just sits there. I bet he's one of those machines. Oh, God. Jacob. What's the situation like in the shelter? Not that great. People are getting nervous. A lot have already left and even more plan to leave. Even Mark and Laura saw him packing earlier. And what about you? Uh, just the thought of running again is making me sick. Must be getting old. Plus, we got everything we could need right here. Where else would I go? Besides, I have faith that Baron would never let anything happen to this place. She's way too uptight about security. I mean, that's true. Earlier, you said that a new era started. What changed? Well... For one thing, with Tucker dead, I became the new leader of the group. Something I never expected or wanted, for that matter. What did you do about it? That same night, I looked around at all those people who survived, and I felt scared. Scared of what they expected of me. I started to walk away like I was on autopilot. I don't know if I wanted to run away or to kill myself, but then something surreal happened. I found a metal door in the ground in the middle of nowhere. Bomb shelter. I was real unsure about what I might find under it, but what I did find was the aftermath of a massacre. More Terminators? That's exactly what I thought at first, but it turned out to be something even more scary. Cannibals! It looked like they decided to commit suicide. Oh. I couldn't understand it. To me, they had everything. Food. Shouldn't try water. to be funny in this game. <laughs> they even had a case of beer. So I got shit faced and started crying over my brother's death. But I realized something. I realized that I could maybe survive there. Did you come back to tell everyone? I did. After I buried the bodies outside, I returned to the camp with the good news. After that, we were all right. That night, I learned two things. Firstly, that it's okay to be scared. Secondly, that there are two sides to everybody. Ironically, me being a scaredy cat turned me into a good leader. And that's how I found that place, and that's what motivated me to help others. But Tucker? He was a leader from the start, but he had an ugly side, too. He killed those who opposed him. 
He was a real scumbag, Ooh. but he was my brother. He made me want to be a good person for the both of us. Our hangover wasn't a high price to pay for that lesson. I did not anticipate that. Oof. Is that the quartermaster? Yeah, that's the quartermaster. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Okay, I'm going. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. There's the one. Oh, uh, there. Okay, so there are some more weapons, it looks like. Okay. Well, first off. Um, okay. Um, okay. Oh, that's for the purple. That's for the purple. Yeah. Rail plasma. Sniper rifle charged with first generation plasma rounds. Isn't that what I have? Yeah, that's what I have. Laser guided RL-43. What do I have for? RL-43. Okay. Single shot rocket launcher with a laser sight. Oh, very dark star for good. 3,000. Okay. Laser guided. I, I probably would find it, but you know what? It probably wouldn't be a bad price to pay. Plasma TC-16R. Classic weapon integrated with first generation plasma. 140. Um. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I need to take out those chips. Um. Okay. That's done. We're going to sell that. Do you need anything? Yeah, I, I need that new... I need to sell... That by that. Wait a minute, he's already got one. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Ten, fifteen, eight. Hold on a second here. Runic, thank you for the lurk. I'll be finishing up, guys, here real soon. I just gotta, I gotta get to a next safe point, and we'll be fine. And then, flip size. Oh damn it, that doesn't work. Um, two. Fire rate. Two to three, 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 two to three. Fire rate. Hold on a second. Fire rate's 125. That's actually pretty good. Well, here's a clip. Okay. And solid to three. Solid to three. Solid to three. Stability. Uh, solid to three. Solid to three. Solid to three. Damage plus 51, clip size plus 10. Hell yeah. Okay. All right, one more person to talk to. Jennifer, hi. Jacob, I didn't see you there. Where are you going? I'm going out scavenging. Don't worry. I'm past thinking about running away. Knowing how much you'd miss me made me not want to leave. Oh. Where's Patrick? He's getting ready. 
I'm taking him with me. I figure it's time for him to see what's out there. Is everything okay? You seem far away. Nothing can get past you, can it? I've been thinking about the day we met. I never told you how we really ended up there. You can tell me anything. I know I can. That's why you're the first person I'm telling this to. That day, loud hammering woke me up. When I came downstairs, I saw my father nailing the window shut. Oh, stretch. The crack. I saw them coming. Hundreds of metal heads and their red eyes. Even though they're just empty shells, I could feel the hate radiating from them. What did you do? I made Patrick stay upstairs and went back to talk to my father. We argued for a minute or two and I tried to pull him away from the window. He pushed me away. I tried it again, but he shoved me. And this time I fell. I didn't recognize him as he was reaching for a shotgun. He said, I shouldn't worry about the machines. They wouldn't hurt us. <laughs> I don't even remember how. But the gun was already in my hands. I closed my eyes and went someplace else. Oh, God. Didn't even hear the shot. I didn't hear Patrick's steps either. He saw you? He did. He was staring at me like I was a stranger. He didn't scream or cry. He just stared. I threw the gun away, grabbed Patrick, and tried not to notice the hole in my father's unmoving chest. As we ran, I could hear them coming, so we found somewhere to hide. Then you came. I wanted to tell someone about all this, but I was afraid to. I'm glad you did. I am too. We talk a lot about how heartless the machines are. And I started to think that maybe I was too. I probably would have convinced myself of that if it wasn't for you keeping me sane. Thank you for everything. I never thought I would find a friend in times like these. Oh boy, yes, yes, just one heavy hit after another, is it, folks. Is it true? I can look human now. Just gonna go and uh, the I'm game. With the dog. Uh, this Dr. Edwin Mack is the only one who could bypass Skynet's encryption lockouts, allowing us to use their newest weapons. I need to travel to Hollywood Hills and bring him the second generation plasma rifle. You're alive. No time for that. Do whatever it takes to get everyone out of that shelter. Do you understand? You're not safe there. What? Why? God damn it. What does he mean? Get everyone out of the shelter? Oh, uh, well, that's going to be easier said than done. Uh... I think that was it might be saved, but wow. Yeah. Okay, close up. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it today. We ran a little late. I do apologize, but hey, oh boy, it just it just keeps coming. Those hits. So I'm Hoping all of you had a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, as always, I do try to uh, put on a good show, provide a safe place for everybody. Um, but yeah, man, that game can be a downright uh, huh, bummer sometimes. <laughs> um, What are they doing? Top 50. Mm. Uh, but thank, thank you, Miss Jones. Thank you. So yeah, folks. Um, 
Today's the last stream of the week. I do have something before we go. I do have something I want to tease for you all. Upcoming content for YouTube. Now, you all know how I am the Oreo guy. I was the Oreo guy. It's been a long time since I've done anything Oreo related. Well, that changes tomorrow. Because I finally got my hands on these puppies. For those of you who don't know what these are, Hydrox was the original sandwich cookie before Oreo ripped them off. These are the original. And I am going to be opening them and trying them out for you. Not now, on YouTube. And I'll go in more depth in my YouTube video. So folks, if you haven't already, head on over to the YouTube channel there in the link and <laughs> go fire. You trust me when I'm going to talk about that in the video, there's a reason. There's a reason they called it that. So believe me, I just wait for the video. I'm going to go more into detail. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to actually try these out. And who knows? I might give up Oreo altogether and become the Hydrox man. Who knows? Could be interesting. That's the Hydrox guy. Hmm. That doesn't sound good at all either. Damn, that is not a good name. But still we'll go into detail about that tomorrow so folks thank you all so much uh we are going to raid out to let me see he's he's oh man oh okay interesting challenge here you know what i think we're actually <laughs> i chucks <drugs>, man <laughs> Okay. Okay. We'll workshop it. That's a good start. We'll workshop that. Folks, we're going to head over back to hang time. Uh, they are currently... Uh, it looks like they're just chatting. But they are debating the top 50 heroes of all time. Interesting debate. I'm definitely curious to see exactly what their ratings are. So... Um, I want to head over there and let's get you guys involved in that debate because that's that's kind of interesting to say the least. Um, let's get our raid messages up and running here. Followers, there's your raid message. Copy and paste that in the chat. Let Twitch know you'd like to join us on our little adventure. Subscribers, use my emotes, please. Uh, YouTube, thank you all. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, thank you so much. I really do appreciate every single one of you over there. Truly, you guys are amazing. Uh, and Twitch here, seriously, uh, thank you all once again. Next week, also, by the way, I will be accepting a sponsorship uh, for Factor 75. Uh, so look forward to that streams next week will be sponsored. So, uh, that I will get everything set up this weekend. So be prepared. I just give you guys a heads up. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, so folks, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week and have a fantastic weekend. Be safe, be smart. And as always be kind, kindness is in short supply these days. So be kind above all else. May the goddess smile upon you. And I shall see you all next cycle. This is Ayun, out.